my kitchen cooking with love with Mary. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my sockeye salmon filet. I'm going to be baking it in the oven with a, a few vegetables and I have everything already uh, uh, cut up and, and uh, measured out for you. So let me go over this recipe I got. Okay, I got about a 1.37 pound of sockeye salmon filet. I have about 12 great tomatoes cut in half, eight small green pitted olives, thinly sliced, two fresh thyme leaves, uh, uh, four lemon wedges, which I'm only gonna put about two lemon wedges over the salmon before I put it in the oven and one half teaspoon of uh, uh, table salt and one half teaspoon of ground black pepper. So let me adjust my camera for you here. So let me get me a piece of parchment paper. And I'm trying to get as long as I can because I got a lot of vegetables to put on there. Uh, okay. I'm going to get some foil, and I'm not going to put it on the foil. The foil is going to be on the bottom of the paper. Okay. I'm so now, and let's see. I, I, I just only have this short foil. I don't have the long, real long foil. I'm going to get a long piece of because I, I don't want any air, you know, when I put it in there, I want the steam. So, do it like that. Then I'm going to take my parchment paper and put it here, across it like that. Now, and I'm thinking I'm going to get, I think, I think that might do it. That might do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I got my fish here, I patted it dry. Make sure I don't have too much wash in it. Okay. So I'm gonna put my fish here. Lay it like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna put all my vegetables on here. And I got my zucchini, tomatoes, and olives. I'm gonna put it on uh, over the fish. I got extra now. I do have. I'm gonna go over this. This uh, uh, well, I just went over it with you. So the zucchinis, I think that's what I didn't do. I have two zucchinis and I have one uh, squash and like medium size. Okay. Now. And I'm going to lay my thyme uh, on top of my uh, fish here. I got about three. Uh, about three uh three uh three uh springs of thyme here. So now I'm gonna sp squeeze my uh lemon juice on it. Then I'm gonna put my pepper and salt. And just take that lemon and throw it in there. And you can also add lemon to it, you know, once it's done, you get ready to eat it. Then my olives here. Don't forget your olives. Now my olives, you know, I make sure you have, have no pits in them. Slice them thinly. This small green pitted olive, thinly sliced. Okay, and my tomatoes. Where are my tomatoes? Here they are. Now these are great tomatoes. I sliced them in half. And 
I'm not gonna put it directly on my fish cause I got someone that uh, allergic to tomatoes. I'm just gonna put it around the fish so I will be, it won't just cook on top of the fish. Okay, and my, my pepper and my salt. I got it mixed together. This is one half teaspoon of each. So I'm just gonna evenly sprinkle it on there. Make sure you get a little on your vegetables. Okay. Now, you're just going to bring your long end up like this with your parchment paper. And make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's the long end that was facing me. And you got, and I bring the foil up. It's facing me. Okay. And then you got the side here. Make sure you seal it real good because you want, you want it to steam in there. Okay, now I got my uh, my pan here, my sheet pan here. I'm gonna put it in there in the oven, and the oven is set at 400. Yep, my oven is set at 400. It's good and tight, and it's gonna cook for 20 minutes at 400. Make sure you put it on your center rack. Okay. That was a quick recipe. You know, if you uh, if you just get your uh, prep everything, you know, get your uh, vegetable ready and have it already prepped. And I'm gonna go over this in sockeye salmon fillet. You can use any salmon, any type of salmon you want. Uh, in the uh, two diced zucchinis and one medium squash, the grape tomatoes, twelve, cut in half, eight small green pitted olive thinly sliced. Your time, you can. I use. It say I can. Usually you're supposed to do at least two, but I, I put three on mine. That's the way I like it. And your lemon wedges, uh, about two lemon wedges. You can do four if you would like. And you can just have some, you know, on the side where when you get ready to eat your salmon, you know, you can have that on the side. And uh, one half teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of pepper. And then you got, uh, you put all your vegetables on your fish and with your thyme and you put pepper and your salt on there. And squeeze your lemon uh, juice on there with your wedges and leave that lemon wedges inside of your uh, vegetables and let it cook. So when I get back, I'm going to show you my finished product. Okay, I'm getting ready to take my uh, salmon out of the oven. And, ooh, I had to do a little adjusting on my time because I cook more than, you know, uh, the recipe calls for. So... I kind of like, I did it for uh, 20 minutes uh, and then 30 minutes. It was like 50 minutes. So, okay. I'm going to let you look at it and then I'm going to let it rest. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like coming out of the oven. So, I'm going to cover it back up and I'm going to let it rest for like five minutes before I can take it out and uh, show you my finished product. I'm gonna put it on my cooling rack here. Okay. Okay, let it sit there and cool for like five minutes. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you my finished, uh, show you my finished product. Okay, my salmon had set for at least five minutes. I'm getting ready to put it in a platter here. Okay.
Hey, that looks delicious. So like I say, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends about it. So this is my salmon with uh, zucchini squash. Have some olives on there and tomatoes. Now, how good did that look? Let me remove some of this uh, squash back so you can really look at the fish. Okay, there the salmon is. Okay. And the salmon. I want you to see it. See the salmon. Okay. So, let me give it a taste over here. Get me some salmon and some zucchini and squash. Mmm, delicious. And I forgot, um, you know, put your little, um, a little more lemon on here. Squeeze your lemon on it. All around. Let me get a little on this, what I'm eating over here. Give me another taste of it. Oh, that lemon just really sets it out. I can tell you the taste of olive and tomato. So, okay. This is what it looks like. This is keto friendly now. It's a keto friendly dish. Keto friendly sockeye salmon. Okay. So let me know what you think about this recipe. Until next time, bon appetit.